Summer July 2007, the Telegraph was celebrating its 175th year of delivering local and regional news to Nashua. They wanted to sponsor a big event at Holman Stadium, a baseball game with the pride, food, games, music, and art. Ken Gidge wanted to contribute to the festivities, so he offered to create a giant Pollock-style painting, not alone, but with the entire Nashua community, and it was big, record big. This was an announcement pasted around the city, and that's an article in the Telegraph. Why was it a Pollock style? Ken said, by creating the world's largest abstract painting of this type, first made famous by Jackson Pollock in the 50s, we will jump start and awaken artists and critics alike that this art form is philosophically important to the art world. We also have this silk screen on the other side of the page, but that's another story. Preparations were made. That's me and Ken painting 55 panels blue in our backyard. The stage was set. Mary Goyette, patron of the arts in Nashua, is there in white. And Anna Gizalaukas is in pink. Ken's trying to direct her hand. One day, a whole busload of kids showed up to splash paint. But it was the anniversary of the moonwalk, and Ken needed to put footprints on the canvas. The kids were disappointed, so all the kids and their teacher were sent to Hayward's for ice cream, courtesy of yours truly, Ken Gitch. The first few days, it was wonderful. The sun was shining, it was hot, but people came and they started working on this wonderful canvas that was sort of gray background and started with sort of a pinkish white first. And uh, the second day, I think the artist used blue. The third day, the weather was rainy and we thought, well, the sun will come out, but it really didn't. The fourth day, there was a downpour, and I thought I could see this canvas floating down Concord Street, but uh, the artist was right here on top of everything. Kenny Gidge was absolutely wonderful. So he put a tarp on it and a uh, wooden frame around it and saved the painting. Now today is the fifth day, is it? and the sun shining and people are coming in and really enjoying the work. Everyone is an artist and I have the names of everyone and this will be shown on the 25th. I don't know if you know the name of the painting. It's called Telegraph 175 because the anniversary of the Nashua Telegraph is on the 25th and uh, with, a, with an all-day celebration, and this is when the painting will be shown to the public, standing upright and being quite beautiful. And maybe people will learn about an artist named Jackson Pollock and maybe look up information, and it's an education. So we'll see you on the 25th. That's the 175th anniversary of the Nashua Telegraph. I'm very proud to be part of it. Kenny Gidge is a terrific guy and very inventive, creative, and I think he's done something very, very good for Nashua. Thank you. There's Ken standing in front of the finished work. Sweating, tired, but happy, Ken poses in front of the giant painting. On the day of the ball game and the big reveal, it poured. That's Ken in his hat, me, and the little white spot on the green is our dog, Winston. Our goal was to save the painting and raise money for the arts at some future date by auctioning it off in pieces for education, scholarships, or art studios, or by celebrating the community and making it an attraction 
for the public. Good news. We have found a place to move it. Bad news. We can't afford to bail it out without your help. It's in storage. For 11 years, we paid for storage for this giant painting, 2007 until December 2018. $55 a month. That's $7,260. But then the troubles came. First, we were scammed by an international la money laundering scheme. We were small potatoes. Then emergency after emergency. On July 3rd, I fell off my bike and fractured a hip. I spent 10 days in the hospital. Ken came down with giant cell arteritis and spinal stenosis. There were tests and probes and visits to the doctor. He still can't walk without a walker. We need your help to celebrate and create a new community attraction. A new community attraction to boost the arts with your contribution. We can get big, AKA the Telegraph 175, into its new home. Our suggested donation is $15. The hyperlink is below. Mary Goyette and Ken Gidge say, release our painting. It's being held captive. Bring it home to Nashua. Thank you for your help. It's much appreciated.